The main challenges in optimizing shelf life um, presently is that most people can only do sh accelerator shelf life testing on packaged beer. So it's really almost impossible to determine where in the process you've had a positive or a negative impact on the freshness of the beer. And that's where the e-scan comes into its own right because one actually can look at each step of the process to see where you know, one could actually improve the beer shelf life. Well, for consumers, freshness means enjoyment um, and also means consistent enjoyment. So manufacturers obviously want to be able to sell beer that consumers enjoy and that means obviously good sales volumes. And they need to be able to understand how they can do it um, with their current uh, equipment and with their current brewing processes and their current raw materials. And that's really why it's important to, you know, to be able to get that consistent experience to the consumer. What the e-scan does, it measures free radicals. So free radicals are the things that makes us age um, and it also makes beer age. So we look for the rate of radical formation in the beer, which is how we measure um, what we call the lag time. And the rate of formation actually tells us something about the shelf life of the beer. So the faster the rate of radical formation in the beer, the more the beer ages. Um, and so what we try to do is we try to optimize our raw materials and our brewing process such that we actually optimize the antioxidants in the beer, because beer has a lot of antioxidants. And that can really reduce the rate of radical formation in our beer and hence increase the shelf life of our beer. We're actually not just focusing on ESR as a technique, we're actually trying to correlate it and run it together with sensory. So sensory has its place in terms of the evaluation of beer. And part of the challenge of beer freshness is you can only taste packaged beer. So what we want to do is we want to run the analytical aspect um, and the power of the e-scan in the process to be able to identify each step in the brewing process that either has a positive or a negative impact on beer freshness. And hence, we are all the application specialists and Brooker is the technology partner. If you look at brewing, brewing is a multi-step batch process. So there's a lot of inconsistencies in the way things are done, even though they appear to be consistent. And what happens with the e-scan technology is that you can actually, it's such a sensitive methodology that you can measure anything from brew house, from malting, all the way through to um, word cooling, fermentation, maturation. And at each point you identify those steps in the brewing process that either impact positively or negatively on the brewing process. And hence, you are then able to measure how that improves your beer freshness and hence the enjoyment for the consumer. I think there's some exciting developments happening with Brooker um, and we've seen some of the new developments on software, just making it much more easier in terms of the user interface in terms of also being able to compare different sites, brewing sites, so when breweries have multiple e-scans on site for different things, it really makes it a lot easier to be able to compare them directly. And that's been part of the challenge, so that's not really an accredited method, either for an EBC or an ASPC method. And so people don't really know what is the standard in which you actually measure. So I certainly think that the new developments that we've seen really bode well for the future.